Okay, today we're going to learn how to make a, uh, a GPS track file. You can uh, use it, you can load it into your GPS and go riding, or you can store it on your computer and use it at another date. So, I'm, uh, I've chosen the Brookmere area because it's such a nice place to ride. Our destination will be Shovel Nose Mountain. So, I'll zoom in by rolling my mouse wheel. Okay, and then we go up here to Add Path. We'll call it Shovel Nose. Ooh, I'll learn how to spell here. Shovel Nose. We'll make it a nice bright red and a nice wide line. Do not click OK just drag this down and put it here for now. So we'll start at uh, the intersection with the main road and we'll just start laying down some points here. Because your cursor is a crosshair now instead of a grippy hand there, you have to use the uh, arrow keys on your on your keyboard to move the map around back and forth, up and down, left and right sort of thing. Now people are asking me, why don't I just you know, run a set of dots like that. Well, because each one of those is uh, is a point, and older GPSs, at least mine, uh, can't hold more than 500 points per per track. So if you if you got a lot of tracks or m a lot of distance you want to make, then uh, you're going to run out of room. At least I will. So this this is the method I use. It's 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 a little you know notchy looking and. Uh, not very elegant, but it does its it does it serves a purpose because once you're on the road, all you need to know is do I need to turn, right? You don't need uh, a GPS point every foot and a half. Now, in a case like this, there's there's a fork in the road, so I'll put my last point here, put my next one there. So now, when I'm traveling, as soon as I pass this point, my GPS will start pointing me at this one. So by the time I get to here, I have indication that I need to go down this road instead of going straight. Little tricks you learn, you know. And we just keep laying out points. And again, do you need 30 to go from here to here? No. One's good, One's good enough. All right, so let's uh, let's assume that we've got all our points in, and we've gone all the way to the top of the mountain there. All right. All right. So now we come back down here, grab this back up. Now we click OK, and you can see your line has changed, and your little grippy hand is back. Okay. So now you go over to File, Save, Save Place As, and it's already identified itself as shovel nose and the KMZ extension is uh, is a recognized extension for Google Earth but your GPS doesn't know that extension that type of file so we have to convert it and I will show you how to do that for now we save this file and there you go even if you delete this file We still have the, we have the other one saved on our computer. So now, what do we do with the KMZ file? We learned how to create a, a KMZ file using Google Earth. Now we need to do something with that uh, KMZ file so that uh, our GPS recognizes it. And uh, the easiest way to do that is we have to go and first of all we need to download a program called Easy GPS. Now it's free and uh, it's a great little program. Once you've uh, once you've got it installed it looks like this and you have uh, the option to send it to your v to your GPS. You have the option to uh, pull information from your GPS to this program and save it as as a GPX file, uh, which.
which seems to be the most popular uh, type of format for uh, information interchange when it comes to GPS's. So it's a good program to have. Okay, I'm just going to shut it down for now. Um, now this is the uh, this is the, the the site that I use for uh, converting my KMZ files to GPX. Now you can see it takes Google Earth KMLs, but it also handles the KMZs. So you you can see the here's the address here. I'll have it listed in the links below. Um, really easy to work. We choose shovel nose as the mo as the file to convert. We want it converted to GPX format. Hit the convert button, and that's it. This is the converted file right here. Now you want to right click on that and go save link as and do it so that it's something you understand. I'll just call it shovel nose. Why not, right? And it will automatically put the GPX ex extension on it, but you can add that too if you really want. So that way there's no no mistake at all. Save, and there we go. So now when we look, look you hoo there it is. Our KMZ file and the converted GPX file. So now that now that you have easy GPS loaded on your uh, on your computer, if you double click this, it'll open up the easy GPS and it'll give you a, a little representation of this track on the map window here. It's not a very detailed map window because it doesn't actually show a map, but it gives you an idea. Here is the the information about the track, the distance, the number of points, and like I say now, you can send it to your GPS. Okay, I don't have my GPS uh, configured for this on this program right now, but this would be where you do it, and it would. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. You can send this uh, this information to your GPS, or you can receive information from your GPS to this program. Uh, excellent little uh, bit of software this is, and for the price, you can't beat it. So that is how you transform a uh, Google Earth KMZ track file that you create into a GPX file that you can load onto your GPS. Right? Questions or comments? Leave them below. Thank you.